uh, beast, Red Elric here. I'm in Birmingham today. I'm doing an extra shift here at Ladywood. Started to make this uh, film a bit earlier when the light was better, but somebody came and interrupted, and then it was one thing after another after another. Just having a cup of tea and a smoke. Hate coming to Birmingham, but it pays. But the one advantage of coming to Birmingham is that I've managed to persuade the gaffer to let me go to John Hollingsworth and I picked up a packet of Holland House and I haven't had a packet of Holland House for probably 25 to 30 years and I really couldn't remember what it was like but I remembered having it so I thought I'd give it a go again Crazy round here. There's mad drivers everywhere, but Birmingham is something else. The driving is absolutely insane. And you spend most of the time when you're driving just being staggered by people's rudeness. I mean, <clears throat> Where I live, people will cut in front of you and things like that, but when they get in there, normally they'll put a hand up or something to say, sorry or thanks for letting me in, or you know, you give way to somebody and they you know, put the hand up, cheers. Here, you can let people go and they'll just glare at you. And you think, how rude. I'm digressing, but I'll tell you now. I've just been to a fire at a block of flats and going down the road in the small vehicle with blue lights on about to turn into this road and there's a black BMW heading towards me with a car full of blokes and I thought they've got to stop and let me go they didn't, just carried on, ignored the fact there was blue lights on and going to an emergency and as they drove past the driver's driving with his hand on the mobile phone talking away and I yelled out the window and get off the phone and the gaffer said, don't do that. He says, we've been told by the police. Never sort of, never challenge, or what was the word he used? Well, it was sort of like, never have a go back, because round here they'll shoot you. There's decent areas of Birmingham, but uh, especially round the Handsworth area and round here. He says, I said, well, most of them won't, it's just the few that would, and then the other ones rely on that reputation to know that people won't challenge them. And he said, yeah, but round here, if you're gonna get shot, this is where you'll get shot. Which might come as a surprise to our American viewers because they probably think there's no guns in the UK, but Believe me here, it's only the good guys that don't carry guns. The bad people have guns, all right. And there's plenty of shootings. Anyway, I've gone off subject. Holland House. As soon as I opened it and smelt it, it reminded me of Dunhill, the old sign that sort of a little bit on the sort of hayfield side but also a sort of brothy like a, a vegetable soup smell mm, definitely a vegetable soup smell so when I lit up I was expecting something like the old sign, 
which is a perfectly decent smoke. Of um, I had to I had to light this smoke it and then I had to leave it because I had a job and this is me coming back to it and relighting again after it's been sat for a while so it's not quite as good as it was first time round um, but the first time round what I noticed was it's a little bit similar to the old sign but and a little bit similar to perhaps Dunhill ready rubbed but a lot better and I can't really explain because I'm not that good with describing tobacco which you might think well what are you doing this for then but this is just a general chat but if I've got to be limited to smoking one tobacco for 12 months and they said your choice of tobacco you can have for 12 months is Holland House, the old sign or ready rubbed I'd say Holland House without a shadow of a doubt and the aftertaste was great as I say I had to leave this and dash off and the tobacco taste that lingered in my mouth was excellent so there you have it John Hollingsworth tobacconist as well um, I was planning on catching a train and coming to Birmingham one of the days just to make a special trip to John Hollingsworth I'm glad I didn't I'm glad the gaffer let me pop in there because, to be honest with you, I was disappointed. The range of pipes was very small. I thought maybe if I went there I might see some of the Peterson range or Savinelli range that I don't get to see in a normal sort of, any sort of brick and mortar. Um, that's around by us because basically there isn't there's just little tobacconists that just sell cigarettes and perhaps one or two packets of pipe tobacco so I was hoping to see pipes and there was hardly anything and the pipe tobacco section you got like one section where everything's in jars which is I guess their own blends and things like that but I wasn't really interested in that, perhaps I should have paid more attention to that, but what I wanted to see was stuff in tins and packets and really the, the selection was really, really limited. Most of, most of the section was selling packets of cigarettes. So, and a selection of cigars. So on the whole, pretty disappointing really. But I spent about 10 minutes looking and then I thought well I don't want to leave it empty handed so I've got to get something so I thought Holland House I'd been intending getting another packet of it at some stage anyway so there we go been a lovely evening though so far but I don't finish till 10 o'clock so I've still got quite a bit to go yet yeah. I'll leave it there thanks for watching bye bye